And then I guess one more check from you guys. Can you let me know if you're able to see the screen? And before I go too much further, because again, too many times I've gone on and on and on and people say they can't see my screen. Yep, great, thank you for letting me know. Perfect, so first of all, very excited to have you guys decide as an office to come on board with Listings Magic. Um, we are uh, very, very grateful to all of you guys for voting and letting us uh, be a part of your, you know, basically real estate business. Um, we have a lot of great things to show you, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. The first thing, I'm actually in an agent's account here. I, I went and found an agent in your office and just saw that we did actually build some property. So once again, a quick summary of Listings Magic for those of you that may not have been at the presentation where I um, was, I guess, a couple weeks ago. We are a, a marketing system primarily focused on listings. We've been around since 2006, so uh, going on our 12th year in the business. Um, have changed a lot from you know where we got started. Uh, we started out as really a, a full service virtual tour company, and then we started deciding that we can actually do more than just do the virtual tours. We can actually build a lot of other marketing pieces, and a lot of our focus these days is on really leveraging your listings, but also leveraging technologies that are out there inside of one product suite, uh, because I know you're overwhelmed. I mean, if you're, you know, like uh, most of the agents I talk to, it is an overwhelming world out there in terms of technology, what to do, what not to do, what's trending, you know, is this actually, you know, it's, um, if you're like um, a lot of people too, you've spent a lot of time doing something that really isn't generating the results for you. So, you know, we understand all those those challenges and, and we think we got a, a solution for you that you're gonna really uh, appreciate um, in terms of both getting listing, uh, getting listings, keeping your sellers happy, and generating more buyer and seller leads. And so the first thing is, is you, um, I don't know if we sent out a notification of your account creation. So what we'll do is we'll send you all a an email that gives you access to your account, but just for, um, I'm pretty sure this is how you're gonna access it. So what you'll do is you'll go to listingsmatchu.com and then there's a login screen. It's the email that was sent to us from your staff. So whatever email address was sent is probably the primary email that you use. And then your password is going to be first initial, last name, one, two, three, four. And you can reset that once you get into the system. But that's how you would get in to your account. And again, this is being recorded. So if you didn't catch some of the things that we're going to be showing you here, you can watch it at another point down the road. Um, we're happy to come in and do additional trainings for you guys. Some of the uh, the product or some of the features inside of our product really really almost require their own individual training. So we may not get too deep into them. We'll just kind of touch on some of them. But the first thing, once you're in a, in your account, because it's a new account, you just want to double check your information and make sure that we have it correct. So you just hover over account and then click edit account information, and then just scroll through. Most of these are self-explanatory fields that are in here. You know, we don't have a bio for you. So if you've got a bio you, you want to include in here, by all means do so. If you have an agent video bio that you have that's on YouTube, currently it's only on YouTube, you can put that in here as well. And just kind of go through and make sure that all of these things are filled out. We went ahead and found photos um, for, I think for all of you guys that uh, we created accounts for. If it's not correct, obviously you can update that as well. And then we just took the new standard Remax Alliance logo with the uh, new balloon and use that for your logo. If you've got a different one, by all means, you're able to uh, put that in there as well. And so that's the first thing you're gonna wanna double check. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is check your defaults. So a lot of the marketing that we build, um, let me talk a little bit about automation. So you can do literally nothing as long as your agent ID and information is correct and you get a new listing because we're working with both uh, Pikes Peak and RE Colorado and Iris for that matter, and grabbing those pro the properties that you put in there and building the marketing for you automatically. So uh, a property tour, a brochure, a video tour that's gonna be on YouTube. Um, we'll, we'll automate Facebook posting for you. We'll, we'll do a lot of things automatically that you don't have to do so long as uh, you tell us which things you wanna do and those are set in the defaults area. <clears throat> so I click on the defaults area the first option is going to be do you actually want us to build these things for you so do you want us to actually go in and look into the mls and grab that property data and information and so just keep that to yes that's going to be defaulted to yes for now do you want to get the notifications so if you guys if some of you may have already received these notifications from us you're going to receive both an email and a text message with links to both the, the marketing pieces as well as links to manage aspects of 
the marketing tools that we're providing for you. And so let me um, actually select this. I think these sh this should have been selected already for you. So in the new account setup, we should have already created or selected Denver for the accounts. And so once Denver is selected, a new option appears. This MLS supports automatically pushing the property tour. So we want to keep that to yes um, as a default. Do you want to have Craigslist reminders uh, going out? That What that is is that we um, will automatically create property tours or property um, placements on Craigslist. And then the question is, do you want us to remind you to repost it? So we'll send you an email to say, hey, it's time to repost your property. Do you want to get those? If so, select that to yes. I'm going to ch change these to yes. Um, and then if this account doesn't want them, we can always change it back. I just want to show you how you set those up. Um, you do not need to give us the login and password any longer. That changed recently, so you can leave those blank. Uh, we'll need to make sure we remove those from the de defaults area. Craigslist is always changing, so you know we, we have to stay on top of what they do. And then I'm going to get the email address for this particular account and put that in here. So let me find that. Actually, I'll leave that blank for now. Um, we won't need to worry about that. Um, and then you can do the music selection, um, chat preferences. I'm going to show you chat. You'll probably want to come back to this once you understand. After you watch this presentation, a lot of these options will make more sense to you. And so uh, once you're done, and then there's a Facebook pixel, I'll talk about that a little bit later as well. Once you're done, you set your uh, defaults back. And so now anytime a new property is added or to the MLS, we're going to look to your defaults and say, what did you tell us you want us to do in terms of this particular property? And so now I'm going to actually go into an actual property and show you how to manage that particular listing. So when you get that email or text message from us, you don't even need to remember your username and password. It will literally drop you right into your manage properties area. And I'm just going to check and see if we have any questions along the way. Uh, everything making sense so far? Anything that you wanted to ask before I go any further? If so, ask it now. Otherwise, I'll keep going. And then uh, anything that comes into the uh, questions area, I'll, I'll address them later. So once you're in the property management area, you'll see it's got the property information. You've got the ability to look at uh, the actual tour itself, there's uh, primarily three different types of, of property tours, all of which have multiple options. So really an infinite number of ways to you know, view the property in terms of color schemes, uh, music selection, backgrounds, uh, how the tour is played. Um, but the default, um, how it is going to be in your account, will look something uh, kind of like this. And so I'll turn the music off here. And so it's got that kind of Ken Burns effect. The address comes in very elegantly. And then you'll see after watching it for a little while, we're gonna automatically drop down to the photo gallery. And then at, at about the same time, the property chat will appear as well. So for those of you that weren't at the uh, presentation, our property chat tool is one of the most powerful lead generators. And I say listing closing tools in the industry. You know, when we look at the back end data on you know, how leads are generated from our system, chat, uh, Facebook is coming close to number one, but chat is still the number one uh, lead generation tool out there. And so I'll come back to that in a second. I just want to keep going through the property tour. So you've got the gallery of photos. You know, this is what we call our elegant tour. And so if somebody can scroll through the photos and look through them um, at their leisure, I got to move things around to get to the X. Um, you scroll down further, you'll see that chat stays with us now. We've built a video tour that's on YouTube, but we embed that into the property as well. If you've got a Matterport tour, I'll show you where you can add a Matterport tour. Lots of different options. You can add additional website links to the property, but this is, again, by default, what's going to be in there. So uh, address, map, <clears throat> even the map has like a nice little photo of it. So very professional, very elegant, something that you should be proud to show your sellers in listing presentations and that they're going to be happy to share with you know their friends and family feel like you're doing a great job marketing the property. Uh, but back to the chat, I'm not going to use this chat. I'm going to actually use a different property. So let me do this real quick. I'm going to come over here and log in to a demo account so I can actually demonstrate it for you, for those of you that didn't see it um, earlier. And I don't want to have Doug think he's getting a lead on his property and get him upset. So I'm going to choose a particular property here that I use for demonstration purposes. Again, this is a demo account. I've attached it to your office just for now, just for this demonstration. And I'm going to open up this tour. So same thing. You'll see that it's got the 
address it comes in. Let me um, turn the audio off. And again, after a few seconds, the chat will appear. If I scroll down here, I'm just going to make it come out and appear. And so a really cool thing about the chat is that it doesn't require you to install any software. It works with standard text messaging. So just like you would text a friend, you're going to receive text messages from our system. I'm going to try and see if I can do something and show you my cell phone. There's a way in that that sometimes works. So let me see if I can do that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I'm gonna try it just this once here. And if it doesn't work, I'm gonna bail on it after uh, maybe maybe two attempts. And then I'm gonna run this app called Visor. I want you to be able to see my phone. I think it makes a lot more sense when you can actually see it. And so in theory, this should let you see my screen if it works. So crossing fingers that the technology actually works. All right, there we go. Great. So now you're seeing my, this is actually my phone. So what's neat about the chat is that if somebody actually has a question about the property, like for example, are there any HOAs? What's going to happen is it's going to show up on my phone and come back over here and show you my phone. So now I've got this text that I just received. So you can kind of, you got to kind of bear with me here and, and hopefully follow along. It's a, it gets a little complex. So I'm both Jane Realtor, the demo agent here for this account, but I'm also the potential buyer. So Joe Buyer, for example. So Joe Buyer just asked a question about the HOAs. Jane Realtor received the text and now she can say, no, there aren't any. And just send it like you'd send and converse like you converse with somebody um, with a text message. And so you can see on the screen, that's already updated over here. So pretty cool, you're able to actually generate and have a conversation with somebody in real time. Now you might say, well, you know, why, why is this so effective? Or you may be wondering why I, I mentioned earlier how it's been such a great lead generator. The reason is, is because if you're like me and like most people out there these days, you do not give away your information about who you are unless there's a, a, a certain amount of value that you're gonna be provided on the back end of this. So oftentimes questions that they would not reach out to you, they would not call you, they would not email you or fill out a contact form. But if it's just something simple and they feel they can stay anonymous, like they can here, they will actually do that and, and reach out to you and ask you a question about the property. And now the other question that comes up often is, is what if I'm in a closing or if I'm with buyers or if I'm driving? And that's a great question. So we do not leave people hanging if the response does not happen from the agent within roughly about a minute to a minute and a half, um, we kick back an autoresponder. And I'll show you in a little bit where you can set up and change that autoresponder. As a matter of fact, I'll go ahead and do that now just because I think it's going to make sense to uh, show you how that actually works. So I'm going to go back and use this demo property since I'm going to be changing things in an account. <clears throat> so. The, everything inside of the managed properties area is um, bucketed into certain categories. So syndication, publishing, and print, property options, email and report options, then lead creation, lead management. And that's where your chat is going to be. Now you can set it up collectively for all your properties in the defaults area. And I'll, I'll you know, get back to that was where we set up your defaults. This is going to be for a particular property. So there's lots of options that you can do here. You can set up the message. And then you can set up additional default or uh, additional chat defaults for this property. Here you can set up the notifications where you want the text to go, and then the initial message you can change and customize that, and then your away message as well. So anything you want to customize, you can do. And so again, my the point that I want to convey to you is is that you can just go with our defaults, and you know if you're busy and don't want to worry about it, leave it. But if you're a little more hands-on and you want to customize this, I've seen lots of people come in and change it. I would just caution you, do not make your away message a small novel um, that just does not seem you know, legitimate and you want this to be something that people actually believe. And so one thing you definitely want to do is ask for their contact information. So one of the ironies of our chat tool is that I've actually studied the real chats, the live chats, people have actually conversed with, with potential clients, potential buyers, and the, just the away message that kicks in because it wasn't answered. And because 
they actually ask for the information, the people will leave it more often than when the chats actually occur. So our defaults actually generate leads uh, more effectively. Um, so that's where they are, that's where they happen. Now, another aspect of our tool that's very important to understand is, is that because we are very focused on lead lead generation, but also lead follow up, um, if they at any point along the way leave their contact information. Let me just make up an address here just because I might already be in the lead system HQs testing at listingsmagic.com or a phone number. Our system is scanning to say, is there an actual email or phone number that has been added? So let me come back to my phone here to show you. Hopefully it's still working. This is usually where it kind of can bomb out. Bomb out. Oh, still working. Great. So now you can see that so the chat is still going on here, but now I come back, step back to my uh, text and you'll see that I have a different text now. And this one says, you've received a lead for your property. Oh, it's right here. HQ, it says lead follow-up is critical, critical closing internet leads follow-up with a video email of this lead. So right from my phone, I can actually respond to this poten potential lead with and a video email. And so some of you are at the presentation and you may have seen this, but let me go ahead and show you this here rather than, and let me also check my email. So you're gonna get an email as well to this. So let me show you that. So you got a chat lead for your property. I can do it from my computer or I can do it from my phone. So you have two options available to you since I'm here on the phone uh, and now it's frozen. It's not showing the updated screen. Or let me just do it from uh, email. Just trust me, I could do it on my phone. Oh, is it coming back? Ah, there it is. It came back. Great. So from my phone, I can say I want to select an existing video. And so I can come through and look at the existing videos that are here. So maybe I have one, just a default that I've created. Or I can say I want to create a new video. And so I'm going to go ahead and do so. My professional stylist uh, wasn't in today, so bear with me here. And let me switch it around. And so I'm gonna record. Hey, thank you so much for your inquiry on my property. You know, I wanted to reach out to you uh, directly. I just thought I'd go ahead and send you this video I'm with buyers or sellers or whatever you want to uh, say. Um, let me know what a good time to contact you would, would be. And I'll be getting right back to you shortly. Thanks so much. And then just click OK. Say accept. And now it's uploading that video. And this is just like sending an email, except you're including video. And so why, you might ask, is this important? A couple of things. If you're following any of the uh, real estate marketing gurus or coaches out there, they all talk to the value <clears throat> and importance of implementing and utilizing video. And so this makes it very easy for you to a, immediately respond to a lead. So let's talk a little bit about that. The other aspect of this is that the immediacy of this is so you're able to immediately respond to a potential lead. And that is the number one most important criteria in converting leads to uh, either buyers or sellers. Oops, I keep moving my phone and it keeps changing the thing here. So, um, and so why video? Well, video is very personal. So uh, the open rate on videos is phenomenal and still is phenomenal. People love uh, looking in and watching videos. That's why YouTube is as popular as it is. And so you're now able to put in a custom message. Thanks so much for your inquiry period. I created this short video for you, period please let me know what a good time to contact you would be, period. Thanks. So again, I'm doing this from my phone, so it's really easy. Now I'm gonna come back and actually send it to a real email address because this is not a real email address. So I'm gonna send it to me. Just click send <coughs> and that's it. Now I talked a lot about it, but you can literally do this in about 30 seconds, a uh, respond to a lead. Now I'm not saying do this instead of calling them or instead of you know sending them a regular email. Um, this is just a, a way for you to stand out. Now, 
anytime I talk about the you know lead creation, lead conversion, and lead management side of things, always flip that around and think about this in terms of how can I use this in a listing presentation? And so showing our tour, showing the chat and how it works and how you can be reached immediately and showing how you respond to those people. So thinking about it from the, the standpoint of the seller, the sellers don't care if you get more buyers or if you get more sellers, they just want their house sold. But what this translates to is that you can now show them how like darn anxious you are to sell their house. You are available, You're, you, people can reach you and that speaks volumes in the eyes of sellers. So just a little bit about that. And so it takes a couple uh, minutes for the emails to possibly go through and we see if it's come through yet at this point in time. And it has. So here's what the email actually looks like. And so thank you so much for your inquiry. I created a short video for you. Please let me know. So again, within seconds of receiving these inquiries, you're able to actually um, respond to them. So here's the actual video. Hey, thank you so much for your inquiry on my property. You know, I wanted to reach out to you uh, directly. I just thought I'd go ahead and send you this video. I'm there you go. I'm not going to play the whole thing for you guys, but um, pretty powerful stuff. So um, I'm doing a lot in this area here. Any of the lead generation tools from our system give you that capability. So you're able to respond <clears throat> to anything that you get from us um, in terms of lead generation with these this video response. We have a whole... Uh, there's a whole video area that um, I haven't gotten to yet that I'll show you later on. It's a new product that's still in beta. Um, it's called our Express Bids. And you're able to, for any past clients, you can import um, your database into our system and start using video marketing, video emails in your system. So a lot of you guys may be using other tools that are out there. And I'm not, not saying you shouldn't continue to use those, but we've incorporated that into our system so that you can manage a lot of these these disparate systems from one place. So uh, that's a little bit about the tours. There's different tour options. I'm gonna now come back to the managed properties area and step through and show you some additional pieces of um, the automation and the marketing side of things. So in general, um, you won't need to do much here unless you want to do things like add a banner. If you need the actual URL for some reason, you can get it here. We also create a standalone property website. Um, we, well, the URL is part of the, um, the address is part of the URL. So there's some marketing that I call it kind of fluff marketing. So you can you know set that up if you want to create um, the address as part of the URL. So you want to customize that, you can do that as well. And so I'll kind of, that, that's, there's so much to cover, I'm going to kind of skip over that. In general, we're going to automatically post the tour to realtor.com. And so our system, once you put a property into the MLS, we could actually create the marketing within 10 to 15 minutes because we receive it that quickly. We, however, wait about an hour to two hours just to make sure that A, you've got everything in place. You know, you're not still editing and changing things, updating photos, and to make sure that it's gotten to Realtor.com because we're going to automatically make sure that tour gets published to Realtor.com. So this should be automatically submitted to uh, realtor.com once the property is created. It's also gonna be submitted to the local MLS because this is a demo property. It's not gonna be there. If you remember back when we were in Doug's account here, it was already submitted to the local MLS. This is not yet in place for PPAR yet. We have been working with them to get that in place. We've been pushing that. No other vendor out there will have this capability. I'm sure they're gonna open it up to other ones, but we will be able to submit the tour automatically to PPAR uh, down the road. Um, through the uh, matrix system that they have now moved over to. And so why is that important? Um, you know, a lot of the other vendors that are out there that have, you know, similar, I'm doing air quotes here, similar technologies do not submit property tours automatically. And the value of that is, is that it, it just saves you time. It's no, one less thing you have to think about, grabbing the URL, finding where to place it in there, you're busy. And so if we can do it for you, we take that initiative where we can. And so Craigslist, let me come back to the demo account. I know there's a love-hate relationship when it comes to Craigslist, but we make it very easy and fast for you to get a property up onto Craigslist. So why not take advantage of it? Um, again, show your sellers that you know it's, it's still one of the it's the number five most visited website in the world. And so why not you know take advantage of a tool that makes it easy to get properties there? So 
super fast, super easy. All you have to do is say post, you know, once this information is here, you can customize the title if you want to, make sure you tell us where you want it to post to, and then just click post to Greg's list. And so what's gonna happen is, is we're gonna be building the ad behind the scenes for you. It takes a little while because it's, there's a lot going on. We're literally logging in as you, going to the properties for sale, going to the right region, choosing for sale by broker, uh, adhering to the guidelines. I mean, there's a multi-step process. If you've ever posted a Craigslist, you know it, it's not you know a one minute and you're done kind of a thing. It takes time. You gotta get the photos, you've gotta get the description, you've gotta choose um, you know, bedrooms and bathrooms. It's like entering it into the MLS again, and we do all of that for you behind the scenes. So the pop-up that shows up here says, we're building your Craigslist ad now. You can wait until it completes or close this page down. So I'm going to go ahead and close it down. Um, leave this running in the background because it takes you know usually about a minute, and then we'll come back to it to uh, to show you, you know, how that works. And so we'll close down the Craigslist um, tool. Come back here. Social media sites, uh, including Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Pinterest. So I'm going to come back to that in a second here. Um, there's a lot to show you there. Just real quickly, we're going to build a, a video that we're going to submit to a YouTube channel to the Remax Alliance YouTube channel. If you have your own YouTube channel, there's a the way there's a way to set that up to go there as well. And so it's a, a slideshow that we build that goes here. Let me actually come over here because we're I'll show you a real property and because we did this for Doug's property earlier. I'll show you this one here. So this is one that's up on the Remax Alliance site. Here's what they look like. You know, a lot of people say, you know, why? What's the big deal? Who's going to search for properties on uh, YouTube? People do weird things out there. You know, who knows uh, how people get the places on the internet? It's just a mystery. I mean, it's just a there's a lot going on out there. And one of the things that we've noticed is is that from an SEO standpoint, <clears throat> the property. If anybody puts in the property address, it won't happen. This property was just added today, so it won't be today. But by probably Saturday. You plug this address in, it's gonna show up on page one of the Google search results. I'll try it now just to see. I don't think Google's that fast, but let's just see if that actually works. Yeah, not yet, but it won't be long. Uh, I can assure you that very shortly, this property will be up on the, uh, uh, in the, this, the YouTube uh, video will be up in the uh, SEO. Now let's check and just see if, if these sites, it may, again, because this is just built earlier today, they may not have the tour yet. I look at that, they do already. So this is something else I'd like to show you guys. These guys are quick. So again, one of the values of making sure that the virtual tour gets syndicated and pushed to RE Colorado and or PPR is because other IDX sites that are out there like Coldwell Banker, like Keller Williams, like Weikert, like you know all of these uh, national chains have their own publicly facing websites like Coldwell Banker Homes does. And so this property was literally built, I think this morning or maybe last night, and the virtual tour is already here. So <clears throat> we're on Coldwell Banker site. I know boo, thumbs down. We don't wanna you know, talk too much about that, but you will not see Doug's information anywhere. The, all you're gonna see is somewhere, here we go, listed by Remax Alliance. That's it. No other reference to him or any other thing about Remax. However, if somebody opens up the virtual tour, they get the fully branded version of the virtual tour. And so again, another great thing to show your sellers. Look, we, you know, how how good am I? I've got your branded tour showing up on my competitors' websites. So that's pretty cool. I wasn't sure if it was going to be there yet. So coming back to the Craigslist posting. So once it's done, you can click on the link here and it's going to tell you that it sent an email. All You still have to verify that you want the ad to post. So come back here and check your email and you will see, here it is. You just, this is coming from Craigslist, not from our system. You just have to verify you do want this ad to get posted, accept the terms of use <clears throat> and you're done. Your property is up on Craigslist. So Take a look at what that looks like. You'll see that the property has a branded photo. So we did this, we put branding on the photo. So when somebody looks at it, they get your contact information 
And as we scroll down, you'll see there are six photos. We do that on purpose. We give them only six photos. And if you want to add more photos, you can. I recommend you don't because there's another lead generator that we've embedded into the Craigslist ads. So to get additional photos, video, and more text, see me, 1530282878787. If somebody does that, you're going to receive their phone information and a lead will get generated. So that is pretty cool. Um, just as a, a demonstration of Craigslist and the way we dominate on Craigslist, if I come here to the real estate for sale section, there are about 3,000 listings on Craigslist for Denver. If I do a search on listings magic, we have about 577 of those properties. And the reason I show that to you is, is the reason this number is so high, one is we have a lot of people using our product, but two is because of how easy it is for people to get their ads onto Craigslist using our system. So hopefully that makes sense. Checking to see if there's any questions and nothing so far. I would assume that if you weren't able to hear or see anything, you would let me know. So now let's let's get back to social media and the power of Facebook in particular. So you're able to post it to a number of different sites. The most powerful out there these days is of course, Facebook. <clears throat> so you click publish to Facebook, you're gonna log in first to um, Facebook. Once you do, you can publish this particular property immediately and you can choose where you want it to go. So I have a demo business page that I've created and I can say, I want this to post now. I can put in a custom call out. And so you can do some customization to it. Here's the description. Let me actually, well, it'll actually open up Facebook here in a second. So once you're done posting, and this is for this particular property, I'm going to get to some very other powerful uh, options that you'll have available to you. Another uh, tool for lead generation is do you want to get somebody's contact information before they can actually see the property. And that's called forced registration. And I'll show you how that works here. I'm going to go ahead and say yes to this. Once you're done, you simply do post now. Now you can set this up so that it automatically um, posts to your social media sites. Um, what I want to do is show you how to do it manually. And so let's go ahead and visit the post. One thing I need to do first is I need to, because I want to show you how the lead generation stuff actually function. So I need to make sure that I delete something real quick here. So I should have done this before. I apologize. I have to do something here to show you how this works because once it's activated, you don't have, you don't force somebody to install this every time because you only want to get their lead once. And so I need to remove this first to show you how this actually functions. So come back here, visit post. So it's gonna show up on your business page like this. There was the custom call out that we put in that you can change. And then of course the link to the property because it's a business page, I'm able to um, boost this post. But if I were to come across this as a person you know, visiting your business page or an ad that you placed on Facebook, what's gonna happen is, is they're gonna get taken to what we call an intermediary landing page. And so it gives them some information and then of course the old dot, dot, dot. So only one photo and then do I want more? Yeah, I do want more. And these are both basically the same button. So now notice I'm not having to type in my email address or tell you anything about me. I just need to say continue. So it's, you're literally just using your mouse to click and continue. That is it. Now it's gonna redirect and give me that full property information. And in the background, I am gonna receive another lead. So I'm gonna get the um, email address for this particular person. And because it's me and I already have that lead in my account, I'm not receiving it again, uh, but you'd have again the same opportunity to um, you know, reach out to them and follow up just like you would any other lead that comes into our system. And so that force registration is a powerful tool. And when I talked earlier about how the chat has been a powerful lead generator, our new Facebook registration tool is coming a close second for people that are using it effectively. Uh, let me see, I think there's a question. Is there a question? I thought I saw a hand raised, but I don't see the question. Oh, wait. All right, so uh, a question on the virtual tour. If you have a virtual tour, tour already with another company, do you make a tour off of that? Uh, we do not do anything with the other tour. If you want to continue to use that tour, you can. Um, we, we would, 
you would do is there's two things. Um, one is you can submit that tour to you know, realtor.com or to uh, the MLS yourself, um, or you can do what's called set up an alternative URL or an alternate tour URL in our system. So I'll show you that here in a little bit. Let me get back to that question here once um, we have a chance. So I'll, I'll make sure I get all the questions answered. I wanted to see if there was any questions around Facebook while I'm inside of the Facebook posting tool. <clears throat> so that is how you would set up a particular property. What I want to show you now is the ability to set up automation. And so come back here to Facebook. And now I'm going to set up auto posting. And so now what you're going to do is say, anytime I get a new listing, I want it to automatically go to my Facebook uh, profiles. So you can say, I want it to go to my personal wall. I want it to go to this particular page. Again, I manage a lot of different pages. So they're all available. Any ones that you manage will show up there so long as you have permissions. And then here's the next tool that I want to show you guys. So if it's set to no, you'll you'll not see the other options. But if it's set to yes, all these other options show up. So what I'm showing you here is the ability for you to share other office listings on your Facebook business page. Um, I don't recommend doing it to your wall. It should be just your business page. <clears throat> and so the power of that is, uh, well, multi actually, multifold. It's one is you get to appear to have more listings in your inventory. So people are always, you know, interested in looking inside of houses. You know, it's why HGTV is as popular as it is. So, you know, why not take advantage of the ability to share other agents that look like they're your listing? So all the branding is going to stay with you when you publish and post these other office listings to your wall. So what you can do is you're going to say, yes, I do want to turn this feature on. And then do you want to get notified by email whenever we do actually post a new property to your wall? What price range do you want to filter it by? So you can say, I, I only want to show, I mean, I don't care, or I only want to show properties, you know, above 300,000. And then do you want to do that forced lead generator where people have to actually click continue and you get an email address as a lead? And so let me talk a little bit about that real quick, because I think people are sometimes like, why don't I get a phone number? Well, it's because Facebook only gives us the email address, but there is such power in being able to use Facebook, target a particular area, a particular city or a particular zip code and generate a database of email addresses inside of that community. Because at some point in time, now these are when, when I say you're getting leads, these are not people that are like, hey, I'm ready to move tomorrow or even uh, you know next year. But if you are an agent that has um, any type of long-term drip marketing, campaigns, whatever it might be, there's tremendous value in being able to generate email addresses for a particular community. It's basically, you know, it's gold really in, in the ability to get those. So I would recommend you do the forced registration and then you can also filter by zip codes. So you can say, I only want properties inside of a certain zip code. So we have access when, so when we talk about your office Remax Alliance, the beauty of, you know, working for a company of, of this size is that we are probably going to find properties no matter what, um, you know, just given the, the size of your company. This is only Remax Alliance properties. We're not going to be, we don't have access to Keller Williams. I mean, we do, but you, they're not going to show up in terms of uh, going onto your wall. These are only going to be Remax Alliance listings. And so I can put in a zip code, you know, whatever. I don't know what a zip code is there, but you just say add zip. You want to remove it, you can remove it. And then how often do you want to post? So once per day, once every couple of days, once every four days. So really up to you. You know, the way I look at this personally is, you know, if people are coming to your business page or your real estate page and they see a new listing every day, that may, that may seem a little, you know, you know I guess disingenuous. Um, however, once every four days, maybe that's reasonable. Once every five days, you know, so up to you. You know, if, so I've got people do it every day. So it really uh, comes down to your personal preference. And then once you're done, just click on submit. So now what's going to happen is, is that we are going to every so many hours come and look and say, see, is it time to post a new listing? If it is, what are the criteria by which we're searching for? And then um, when it's time, we're going to post that new listing. If you wanted to get notified, we'll send you an email to say, hey, we posted a new property to your wall or to your business page. Here's a link to it. So that's how that works. Um, so definitely take advantage of this. On the other side of it, you know, a lot of people say, you know, how did we get permission? We decided to turn this feature on the properties 
that you have your seller sign contracts for have IDX syndication already in place, and this falls into the category of IDX syndication, according to the people that we've talked to. <clears throat> if you want to turn this off and you don't want your listings to show up there, you can turn it off. So rather than say, go out there and say, hey, everybody, go make your listings available, uh, we turned it on and um, basically asked forgiveness uh, later. Hopefully that makes sense. So let me show you what that actually um, looks like. So I'm going to share an office listing now. So let's say I'm doing an open house for somebody um, in the office and I'm going to you know, post it to my business page. And I don't know a property off the top of my head. Let me go find this particular listing here. So 8639, I'm going to go ahead and use this one that we did before. <clears throat> I want it to go to my business page and here's the address. And it'll, you know, once you start typing the address, you'll get a drop down. You do the MLS ID number as well. And then add, or a description comes in here. Here's that force registration again. And then you can do a custom call. And if you wanted to do your own call out, hey, I am doing an open house this Saturday. Come check it out. And that's all you gotta do, post now. So again, not my property. I'm Jane Realtor. This is uh, Doug's property. Now I'm going to visit this post. Here's the call out. And then now if I click on this property, what I wanted to do is show you that even though it's not my listing, the branding stays with me. And so I click on this property. I'm Jane Realtor. Turn off the music. You know, this is a different, this is our uh, traditional tour, we call it. It's a different tour fact, uh, um, form factor. You scroll down, all property information is there. The property chat is going to come along with me. And then you'll see here, listing information provided courtesy of Doug Jones, Remax Alliance. So we're uh, doing the IDX compliance uh, bit. Again, if I were to start a chat with this property, I will get that. So lots of value in this um, tool, lots of power in it. Uh, the way I look at it is a great way to cross pollinate your listings and get more traffic. So another great thing is if I'm an agent, I absolutely want other agents in my office to share this because the traffic on my property is going to go up and I can show those seller reports, you know, how much traffic is actually happening. So let me see if there's any questions on this. This is an important feature. I want to make sure you guys understand this. Yes, you can add multiple zip codes. So you can add as many um, zip codes as you want to. And the only uh, thing I would let you know is, is that you know, for example, if you only put one zip code in, maybe this is why you're asking, if you only put one zip code in, we're only going to look for properties in that particular zip code. So, you know, you want to filter it a little bit, but not too much, because then at a certain point, we won't be able to find properties that are a match and be able to post them. Um, there's a couple other questions here. I'll get back to those since they're not related to uh, Facebook and Facebook sharing. <clears throat> Something else that we're uh, in beta testing on that you may have noticed here. Um, let me come back to here. Uh, we have the ability to also share um, automatically articles to your uh, Facebook um, business page. It's not available yet. This is an extra fee that we'll be charging. Let me talk a little bit about that real quick. So any we've we continue to add new features and functionality to the product set. This Facebook uh, property sharing tool is only a few months old. Um, we always had the ability to share to Facebook, but not the ability to cross pollinate and share these listings is what we do. So anytime we're able to add a feature and functionality that adds value to the product set, but doesn't cost us hard dollars, we just incorporate it. So we don't come back and say, oh, if you want this piece turned on, it's going to be another $5 a month, or it's going to be another $10. The article tool, however, because it does require us to continuously maintain and update articles is going to be an additional fee. Uh, it's going to be in the $10 to $15 range. If you guys want it turned on as an office, I can talk to Jan at some point in time and we can work out a fee so that it's a lot more affordable. But basically how this is gonna work, very similar to the property posting, you say where you want it to go, um, which pages you want it to go to, and then you have categories and then days. And so, and then do you wanna get notified? So you can have us um, auto post it. One of the things about articles is they are kind of personal and so a lot of people will want to see what that article is before it gets posted. So I'll show you how that works. If you're of the category of, I don't care, just post content. I, you know, just like lots of good content being posted to my 
social media, then do auto post. Otherwise, select send notification. And then you can choose which days. So if you want Sunday, Monday, you know, one one per week only, you know, only on Tuesdays, you get to, to tell us what you want. I want to make sure I have Thursday selected because I want to actually show you this. I'm going to just go ahead and select them all. So I'm going to show you how this actually works as well. And then what categories do you want? So we've got a number of categories, architecture, buying and selling, design, do-it-yourself, entertainment, finance, first-time home buyers, food, health and well-being, home improvement, mortgage, moving, photography. You know, uh, I think there's like 15 categories. So once you're done, you just click on submit and you're all set. So I'll go ahead and submit. It'll save those changes. Now I'm going to actually run. I'm going to force this to run behind the scenes. So don't worry about what I'm doing here. Articles. So since I uh, did the um, send notification first, I'm going to receive a notification. And you heard my, you might have heard my phone here in the background. And let me try and show you my screen one more time here. And I'm seeing that I'm already running out of time. It's hard to show this product in under an hour. That's one of the challenges. And so where's that visor tool? Let's see if it's still working. All right, so great, I got a new text. And so social media posting suggestion. And so what we're gonna do is based on the article criteria that you told us you were interest, interested in, we're gonna send you what we call a suggestion. And so you do need to log in. And again, what's cool is that we're sending this to your phone <clears throat> because we know that you may not check your email. So hello, Jane Realtor, here's an article suggestion to review. So you're able to see what this article is about. So do you wanna read the whole article to make sure it's a good fit for you? You can click on read the article. It's going to open up in a browser. Short description. These 10 tips will help you pack more efficiently efficiently, so your move goes smoothly. Let's just say, you know, I don't like this one. And then, oh, here, additionally, the call out, because that's really you. That's kind of what you, you were going to say about the article. So if you want to customize that before you post it, you have the ability to customize that first. And so I'm going to say, I don't like this article. I want a new article. So you just click, say new article. So here's another one for you. Laundry rooms that went from drab to delightful. You know, I got a lot of people interested in, in remodeling, so I like that one, you know, whatever, you get the idea. So, and again, if I don't want this call out, I click post now. And then the article's posted. I'm gonna come back to, I think I posted it to my real estate company. And there's the article that we just posted. So again, we can do that automatically for you or you can have a chance to look at it uh, beforehand. So again, <clears throat> it's um, in beta, uh, we're testing it out and this one will be an extra fee. And again, it'll be either be something you could sign up for individually or if we can work out an office price on this that makes sense for you guys as an office, um, we can do so. But we know a lot of people are out there, you know, wanting automation around content, but making it look personal. And so that's a solution for you there. What else to tell you? Bro brochures, we have great looking brochures. I'm not gonna go too much into these. They're real easy to, to set up. We're gonna build a default one for you, but the key thing about a brochure is, is because you probably have more than you know five to 10 photos, we don't know which ones you want in there. So you'll want to come in and if you wanna use these brochures, you'll wanna customize them. So you come in and you can say, you know, I want you know this photo for the, for the main photo, I want this one for the second photo. And then the cool thing about our brochures is you have the ability to really say, I I want to hone in on one aspect of it. And we, you can't get this wrong. So, you know, I can't resize it incorrectly. So it's going to fit perfectly into the brochure option that you chose. And you say crop image, and it's going to replace that image. Come down, customize it here if you want to. Click on done. You can change colors. You can put in a headline. Um, once you're done that fast, you've got a PDF that looks great. Send it off to the printer, print it yourself, whatever you want to do. <clears throat> Here's what they look like. You can change the color. Lots of different customization options inside of it, but this is a two-pager for you. There's one-pagers um, as well. And so coming back to just listen to just sold postcards, we have those as well. For any of you that still use Active Rain, it's lost a lot of relevancy, but it's kind of there for legacy purposes. 
Down here, you probably won't need to edit property information because we're pulling the information from the MLS. So, so long as um, you haven't turned off updates uh, and synchronization to the MLS for this property, we're gonna automatically pick up price changes. We're gonna automatically pick up photo changes. So nothing really needs to be done here unless it's something that you need right away and we haven't picked it up yet. So if you're noticing that you changed the price in the MLS and it hasn't updated yet because it can take a couple hours, you may need to update it here. So I'll just show you what that looks like. So you can come in here and say, I need to change the price or I need to change the square footage. But again, you probably don't uh, need to do that. And property photo, same thing. You won't need to change those because we're gonna pick those up. If you do update a photo here, keep in mind that that will stop synchronization from the MLS. Because if you updated it here, our system says, well, now you've taken control you know, last thing, you know, you want to do is update the photos here and have us overwrite it, you know, an hour later. So keep that in mind. But in general, you won't need to worry about updating the photos. You'll be able to do that here. The active status, this active simply means, do you want us to continue syndicating it, sending it to the places that we do, sending you those Craigslist reminders, sending your seller reports, um, all those things. If the property is now inactive, we're going to stop that. That doesn't mean that the property is going to be, you know, inaccessible. So uh, just keep that in mind as well. But again, we're going to manage that based on the status coming from the MLS. QR codes, legacy, probably don't want to use those anymore. They're um, of little value. Very few people use them anymore. Uh, you won't need to copy the property. We don't currently delete properties out of the system. Um, we are going to implement that at some point in time. You will be able to save any properties that you want to keep in your account. But for now, we're not deleting them. So if you want to remove it from your account, you can do so here. Um, seller reports. So I do want to talk about that a little bit. So you have, we're going to automatically send you because we have your email address. We do not have your seller's email address on hand. So um, you'll want to include your seller's email address so that we can send it to them as well. But a lot of people want to get it first and then be able to look at it. So this tour stats, um, this is a bogus property, so I'm not sure what it's going to look like, but it'll have all the stats for the property in a very um, nice looking format. Again, because this is kind of a bogus property, it's gonna be a little bit weird. And it's gonna have the referring websites. So again, back to the concept of sharing it wherever you can share it and get access to the property or, or you know, have it cross pollinate, like I like to call it, is going to be valuable so that you can send these reports to your sellers and say, you know, we may not have had a lot of showings, we haven't had any offers, but as you can see, you know, the property is getting lots of views. So it always makes those sometimes sensitive pricing conversations go a little bit better. And then let's see, we also have a marketing email. So the marketing email and the open house just listed emails, you're gonna receive automatically. But if you need them again, they're available to you here. So you can say, I'm gonna send a marketing email to my sellers. I'll send it to my Gmail just to show you. You can customize it. And then do you want to get notified? Look, we include video now. So again, if you want to include a video into this, um, you can as well. So we're, we're, we're peppering video throughout our product set. So we're going to send that email off. If I come and check my Gmail, might take a little bit to get to me. <clears throat> oh, sorry here. So here's that uh, market email. It's got a link to the tour itself. It's got the standalone property website with the address included. It's got a link to the video tour. It's got a link to the brochure. It's gonna show you the listing that's actually on realtor.com and it's gonna have uh, the tour stats available. So again, you're gonna receive that. Of course, when the property first gets um, published, the tour stats are not gonna be something you're gonna share, but over time, that is something that will we'll start to have more value. And then the open house just listed email is just another way to promote the property. You can send it to a database that you've got that um, is maybe other agents or have the um, sellers, you know, forward this email to people they know if they're you know wanting to promote it as well. So, you know, getting your sellers involved is always an exciting uh, possibility. And we're at 11 o'clock. So I'm, I'm going to continue to go on here again. Keep in mind that I'm going to record this. If you've got to go, I understand, you know, we, we set up an hour for this. Um, but I'm going to go on to just show you a couple more things that I think are important. Um, all the leads that we capture, <clears throat> we're going to keep track of. So you have a lead dashboard. So you'll come in and it'll be able to show you all the leads that you've generated over the uh, course of the life of the listing. 
Here's one that we generated today. Remember earlier today, we did the chat and I did that one there. That's why it's showing up there. Um, we did one from Facebook earlier, but it's not going to show up a second time because you don't want to get duplicates. So we recognized that this lead, this me, this is my email. It's already showing up as a Facebook registration. So we're not going to send it to you again and you know, have you, you know, inadvertently, you know, bug people. So um, anyhow, so it shows you all the different ways and the source of where the lead came from. So you'll be able to, if you missed a, a text, for instance, you can come back into your leads and figure it out. Okay, and we talked about property chat, express vids. Now this is a new service that is really a product in and of itself. It's still what we're calling in beta testing. Um, it gives you the ability to, if you're familiar with BombBomb, it's like BombBomb Lite. You know, we're by no means comparing ourselves to BombBomb, but in terms of your ability to deliver <clears throat> video emails to either past clients, current clients, you know, potential clients, whatever the case may be, sellers, buyers, you can create different groups. You can import contacts. So all your contacts, any lead, by the way, any lead you've gotten will show up here as well. So you'll have all of these uh, contacts available to you. And just like we um, did earlier, you can do a quick send to just this particular contact, or if you have a group that you want to create, so you can create a group and say, I've got my potential buyer group, I got my potential sellers group, I got my past sellers group, and whoever's in that group, you can say, I'm gonna add um, this person to this group. So you can start to create, and there was nobody in that group currently or before, now we have that person in the group. And if I come back to contacts, I'll show you if you select multiple. So, so you've selected multiple contacts, what would you like? to do you can send a video email to them so i'm going to just go ahead and select a few people here and show you so i can send a video email to this entire group <clears throat> and again i can either do a pre uh, created video that i've got in the system or i can record a new video just like we did before now it's coming from my camera so i can do it from my webcam oh it needs to be updated oh, i know what it is Let's try this again. I'll just do a couple and send a video email to them. And you'll see, you're able to do another video again. So I'm, because we're running out of time, I won't go too deeply. We'll do a separate training on this um, aspect of the product set. Uh, because it's a lot more detailed than we have time for right now. But again, this is included because again, there are there are some additional costs that we incur in incorporating video storage, for example. However, because nobody has to you know create the content for you, you create the content. Um, there's no extra fee for this uh, service. We we really think there's a tremendous amount of value in our Express Vids uh, tool set here. Sign writers, we have sign writers that we can get to you guys. They are uh, GPS based or code based. So your choice, the, what we're seeing a lot is that the GPS based ones are really great because they don't require any setup. It's literally the same sign and we've secured a specific domain name um, for these signs. I'll show you what they look like. And these are individually $25 a piece. And they look like this. And so real simple, to the point, no branding on it. Your signs already have the branding. We're just trying to get people to do what they need to do to get the property information. And so if they simply text REMAX to 878787, they will receive the property information based upon the GPS coordinates of the property that they're in front of. If they happen to, to go away from the property, they can type in the address and they'll get the information that way. But again, no setup, very easy to use. Every sign is exactly the same. The problem with the code-based systems in the past, traditionally, as we've discovered is, is that because you're not putting up a new one every day, a lot of agents forget either to change that code to the new property or they forgot how to. And if they put that sign out in front of the property and it's still attached to another listing, typically the first people that call these rider signs are the test or the sellers. So it's uh, not a good start to your uh, listing relationship when they test it out and they find it's you know pointing to a different property. So with this, super easy, super simple, 
green friendly, no brochures in front of the property. And again, they're $25 a piece. A lot of offices, Remax Alliance Boulder just purchased a bulk amount and it drops the price uh, sometimes down to $10 a piece, uh, depending on the quantity. So I'll talk to, to Jan or you guys can talk um, internally if you guys are interested in getting them in bulk. Otherwise you can order them individually. Um, because we're at 11.07, I want to go back to the questions that are here. Um, if you use another tour company, how can you get the chat ability with you? Unfortunately, this is Kathy asking. Unfortunately, you cannot get the chat to work with another uh, tour company. We've looked at doing what's called framing their tour in, but it just doesn't work um, effectively. And so uh, that's why I say, you know, I get it. You're, you're using another tour company to get the photos. We have a lot of agents that now tell the photography company that they use, do not build me a virtual tour, just get me the photos. All you need to do is get those photos and put them into the MLS and then we'll build that tour for you. So it could save you some money uh, depending on the tour company that you're utilizing because I know that a lot of them charge extra for their, for their tour. And I don't see a reason why we think our elegant tour looks fantastic or our other tour options look fantastic. Again, that's a subjective <clears throat> statement. You know, some people are like, man, your tours are ugly and we like these. Well, I'm not going to argue that, you know, if you think our tour is ugly, you know, that's, you know, you're certainly welcome to your opinion on it. And um, that's like saying, you know, Monet is better than Rembrandt. It's, it's not an argument you're going to win. Um, let's see. Multiple zip codes. We talked about that in terms of Facebook posting. Can we post to other social networks besides Facebook? Yes. Uh, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, Pinterest, and potentially soon to be Instagram. Instagram has recently, because they're purchased by Facebook, have made some changes. In the past, it was not something you could automate, um, but we're investigating their new, um, they've, they've created some new tools mm -hmm. that we may be able to incorporate uh, Instagram into it as well. Um, so I just wanna make sure I got questions answered while it was still close to the one hour time frame. Mm -hmm. The Zillow's reviews URL, um, I'm gonna skip that for now. Lead generating valuation pages. I think this is important as well. Anytime you put a new property into the MLS, whatever city that property goes into, we will automatically build what we call a valuation page for that. Um, it won't have a custom photo and we'll do what's called our uh, generic stock photos. But let's say you put a new property in and it's in Arvada. When you come into this uh, management area, you're gonna see that there is a new valuation page set up for Arvada. And so I'll show you what they look like. So it's going to have our default uh, background photo because there's no custom photo uploaded, but how it works is what is your Arvada home worth now? And so you can come in and say, you know, I want to, I'll just make up an address here. <clears throat> and you'll see that because we're trying to build trust, you know, as they start to type their address, it's gonna show up here. And then when I say, and so a little bit about what it says, we will provide you with both a quick valuation estimate as well as an in-depth market evaluation based upon recent comps sold in your area. You can change this. There's a way to customize that um, description, but this is the default. And uh, once they say go, you're going to receive a lead for that address already because we already know what address they were interested in. Now we're going to pull pull the data we have from, it's, it's actually, a Zillow API that we're tapping into. I know there may be some boos when they hear that, but uh, they made it very easy for us to get this data. And so somebody can say, no, this isn't correct. We actually have four bedrooms. They can customize it. Uh, what condition is it in? No, we actually have, you know, 2000 square feet. <clears throat> so they get to personalize this experience and it's gonna show them on a map, you know, where this property happens to be because it's out here in Conifer, where, near where I live. It kind of misses the mark. I don't see the house anywhere on the property, but um, in general, if it's in a city, you know, here it is over here, you'll see the, uh, the, the actual house. So again, we're building that trust. So once that information is correct, we're gonna take them to a new screen that you can see, here's the evaluation. We have the quick, quick market evaluation for property address. To receive an in-depth market evaluation, please fill out the form below and we'll compile a detailed report for you based on real MLS data. And so now you're trying to get them to fill out the rest of this form. Hans Guth, Hans Test at, I just keep on making up email addresses, gmail.net, so I make sure I get it. I'll put in my real phone number. And then what are you interested in? I need to sell soon, that's always the best. 
click here for your report. Once they do that, this pop-up window, which you can't get rid of, there was no X, by the way, you can't remove it. So we're going to show them the valuation pages. Now, once again, I've received a lead to my phone and to my email, notifying me that I've gotten a um, valuation page uh, lead. And so it'll come here and show you some additional information on the area. But now, again, main purpose of this is that it generated a lead for you that you can follow up with. Oops, come back here to my email to show you what that looks like. <clears throat> so I got the address. There's a lot of people will con contact our support and say, hey, I got the address, but I got no lead information. Well, that's because people will sometimes not fill it out completely. But just like it's valuable to get an email address in a particular zip code, it's also valuable to get an address of somebody that now you can start proactively marketing to. You know, they took some action here. So, and you can go in the public records and find out who they are. However, if they did it all the way, now you've got their full information, tells you who they are, their contact information, and you've got somebody you can follow up with. So powerful tool that is included in the product set. There are companies out there that, in my opinion, aren't even as good as our tool that charge $50 a month for this. And some of them limit the number of cities you can get access to. We don't do that. You want to add more cities, add a new city. You know, you know do uh, Hollywood, California. You know, we don't care. You know, boom, you got a new... Uh, property in Hollywood. Now, custom image, let me talk about that. So I recommend that you upload a custom image for these properties. And so, you know, if I come in and do a search for Arvada, I can save an Arvada um, picture here, you can upload it, and then I'll show you what they look like. So I've done one here for Boulder, and you'll see that that now is the backdrop. So you're trying to build that trust. So you want a photo that connects to the city that you're talking about. And then finally, you also have the ability to post it to Facebook. So you can start running ads for your valuation pages on Facebook. And again, can't go into you know how to run ads, but lots of power and uh, very, very customizable, very affordable um, in terms of uh, marketing reach when it comes to Facebook advertising. You can literally drill down and say, I only want to show this to people in a specific zip code. I only want people in a certain income bracket. I want people in a certain pr uh, age bracket. Um, I want people that have expressed interest in buying and selling. I mean, Facebook knows everything about us. Um, it's kind of scary. Uh, but anyhow, so you can customize it, post now, real easy to do. <clears throat> Visit your page. And now you've got, find out what your Boulder home is worth. It's got the photo. And you can start running ads on that as well. You can also embed it into your existing website. Do what's called an iframe. A lot of people are doing that as well. And I think that covers everything I wanted to get covered today. I'm 15 minutes over and I apologize. It's just challenging to, to get it all in. I may have lost some of you along the way. I apologize if you had to run out. But um, any questions that I haven't answered, I'm looking at the question list here. I don't see anything here. We'll definitely do another training. Um, we'll do definitely do a deeper dive on some of the, um, you know, like the ExpressVids product, a little bit more on Facebook, Facebook advertising and how that works and get you guys some additional uh, insights there along the way. So I'm gonna wait a couple seconds more to see if any questions pop in. Thank you so much for your time. Again, I apologize for running over. Really, it's hard to cover this all in an hour unless I talk at twice the speed and then you would uh, you know, be irritated by that. But anyway, thank you so much and look forward to working with you guys. Oh, if you have any questions at all, our chat is available down here on any of the property management pages. So just chat with us now. You know, let us know what your uh, property is that you're working on that you have a question about. And you'll be able to chat with somebody live. We have an 800 number. It's 866-831-8639. Again, 866-831-8639. <clears throat> and then finally, another great way to uh, get support is support at listingsmagic.com. Just send us an email and it'll generate a ticket and we'll track that ticket until it's uh, been resolved. And um, those are the ways that you can reach out to us. So anyway, thanks so much for watching and we look forward to working with you guys.